Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in all data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data demo regarding sending versus opening snaps using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Snapchat interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, assume that you are given the tables below containing information on Snapchat users, their ages and their time spent sending and opening snaps. Write a query to obtain a breakdown of the time spent sending versus opening snaps and that should be as a percentage of total time spent on these activities for each group, age group, right? Output the age bucket and percentage of sending and opening snaps and round the percentage to two decimal places. How to calculate this percentage? So basically time sending divided by total time sending plus opening, right? So this is the, uh, you know, sending percentage and this is the opening percentage. And to avoid integer division in percentages multiplied by 100.0 and not 100. What is integer division? So for example, if you divide 5 by 2, right? So the answer should be 2.5. But in integer division, the that decimal part is, you know, uh, neglected or, you know, it is dropped. So the 5 divided by 2 in integer division is only going to give you result 2. So obviously you don't want that, right? Because we are calcul calculating percentages. So you don't want 54.39 to be just 54, right? So that is what is written in this question, right? So this activities table has five different columns, activity ID, user ID, activity type, which can have three values, send, open and chat, time spent and activity date. And here is an example, right? And there is another table called age breakdown with two different columns, user ID and age bucket. So obviously just by looking at it, right? Since the information is in two different tables, the first step should be to merge the information based on user ID because that this is the common column in both these tables. And then once we have this, then what we can do is we can group by the age bucket and try to calculate the total time spent in each of the age group uh, or age bucket in opening the snaps and then in sending the snaps, right? So what I'm saying is from this table called activities, let's alias this as A, right? Left to join, left to join the age breakdown table. Let's alias this as B on a dot user id is equal to b dot user id so now you have along with all these five columns the age bucket as well now what i'm saying is let's go ahead and group by the age bucket right and then calculate the total sum of you know opening the, uh, the total time spent in opening the snaps for each of the age group and then in sending, right? So if I write group by, right? And then uh, this column age bucket. So age bucket is in which call, uh, which table, right? B, age breakdown. So B dot age bucket, right? And you return the age bucket, right? So return B dot age bucket. Now, how do we calculate the total time spent uh, in each of these activities? So just think about it, right? So let's assume this as example and let's let's say that they all these five you know users belong to the same age group obviously it is not going to be the case but i'm just saying assume it right so now if i ask you what is the total time spent in opening the snaps so you will just say okay open uh, 4.5 and open 3 so total time is 4.5 plus 3 right that is seven and a half if i ask what is the total time spent in sending you will just add these two so adding 4.5 and 3 is it is similar to adding 4.5 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 3 the result is going to be same right so that is what we can do here we can say that case when your activity type is open take the time spent else if activity type is anything else right send or chat you alert it the value 0 and then calculate the sum and make that it is the total time spent by that particular age bucket in opening the snaps, right? So that is what we can do. So if I write case when activity, right? Activity type is equal to open, right? Then 
you take time sp spent, right? Then you take time spent, else you take that value as zero. And since you started a case when statement, you need to end it as well. And once you have all this time spent values and zeros assigned, calculate the sum because you are grouping by the age bucket, right? So for this group, you need to calculate the sum because that is what is going to be the, for that particular age bucket, the total time spent in opening the snaps. End. And let's alias this as T underscore O, basically time in opening, right? Similarly, the same exact thing will happen for uh, activity type send, right? So instead of writing all this again, just copy this, paste it here and let's say case when activity type is equal to send, right? Is equal to send, then time spent, then time spent else zero, same logic, right? And end as time spent, right? Okay, so now we have this. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what we are getting, right? So now if you look at it, different age buckets and total time spent in opening the snaps and total time spent in sending the snaps. So for each age bucket, you have this. Then what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression because this is not what we want. We want these values as a percentages of total time spent in opening and sending the snaps. So with city as, and then this entire thing goes into parentheses, right? And then from this common table expression, we want the age bucket. So age bucket, and then we need to calculate. So the first column should be send percentage, right? So send percentage is basically calculated at time spending divided by time sending plus time opening. So time send divided by time sending plus time opening, right? And to avoid integer division, we need to multiply it by 100.0, right? And the question also says round it to two decimal places. So we write, okay, round it to two decimal places and alias this as, alias this as what? The question says send percentage, right? So send percentage. Right. Similarly, for open percentage, it should be time open divided by time send plus time open and then multiply it by 100 and then you need to round this to two decimal places. Right. So round it to two decimal places and alias this as open percentage. Right. Okay. So now this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what we are getting. So now you have the age bucket and the time spent in sending and opening snaps in the form of percentages. Right. So I think this looks good. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it again. Not a very difficult question. Yes, it is medium difficulty, but you know, if you just think about it, what we actually did was we just made sure that the age bucket column is also in a place where, you know, we can group by that age bucket because for different age bucket, we need to calculate the, uh, you know, time spent in sending versus opening snaps as a percentage. Once we had that, then we use case when statements to basically calculate the total sum for opening as well as sending the snaps. Once we had that, then what we did, we just simply did, uh, you know, the division and to avoid integer division, we multiplied it by 100.0, rounded it to two decimal places, and we got the output as the desired. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.